Hello and welcome. This tutorial explains how to import a sculpt map by using the PrimStar Zero Templates library. First, I switch to my prepared sculpt -E screen. Then, as always, I delete the default cube. I also have prepared a sculpted print column, and saved its sculpt map to file. Now I want to get it back to Blender, so I open it in the UV image editor. I proceed by appending a sculpt -E creator object from the sculpt -E library. I navigate to File, Append, then I search the library on my file system, and locate the object section. By convention, all creator names terminate with the letter I, which stands for Import. I select the creator for a cylinder with 32 times 32 faces, because my sculpt map contains a default sculpt -E of that size. At first it looks like the creator is an empty object, but it contains a displacement modifier, which uses the sculpt map to inflate the empty object to its final shape. Select the creator in object mode, then navigate to the texture section. There, locate the image tab. And finally select the sculpt map. Now the creator takes the shape of the sculpty. Finally I only need to apply the displacement modifier, and then the sculpty is created. Before we proceed, we will take a closer look at the UV map. This map has been modified to work properly during import of the sculpt map. And we have to revert the changes before we bake the next time. We basically move the upper edge and the right edge of the sculpt map outwards by 0.5 pixels. Please ensure that you have disabled snap to pixels in the image editor. Then grab the upper edge, and move it upwards by pressing, G, Y, 0.5. Now grab the right edge, and move it to the right by pressing, G, X, 0.5. By now we have optimized the UV map for the best possible vertex accuracy. Now you can modify the object, then bake again as follows. Go to the render properties section. Locate the shading tab to ensure that the color management is turned off. Then go to the bake section, set bake mode to full render, then bake your sculpt map. Please note that you will only get precise results with a dedicated sculpt map baking tool, like PrimStar 2. But the procedure introduced in this tutorial already works reasonably well. Thank you for watching.